Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by helping them to implement simple tips and proven strategies so they can create that relationship. So now this week we have been talking about introvert versus extrovert. What introverts want extroverts to know, what extroverts want introverts to know. Today's video we're going to talk about the ideal dates that you can go on if you are in an introvert versus extrovert relationship, or maybe I should just say introvert, extrovert relationship, not versus. However, comma, let's talk about it right after this. So this is the fourth video in the informational series about introvert slash extroverts. So definitely go ahead and check those out if this is your very first time finding this series. Of course, I'll have the playlist attached to this at some point and of course down in the description box below. So go ahead and check out the other videos here as well. So now I have several date ideas that you can do with your introvert or your extrovert. This series is actually personal to myself because I'm always trying to find things for me and my husband to do because I am the extrovert. He is the introvert. I usually want to go outside the house and do things. He usually wants to stay in the house and watch movies or just hang out. So I'm trying to find lots of things for, so not for, I'm trying to find lots of things so both of us can actually feel like we're getting what we want, feel like we're getting what we need. So that's what we're going to talk about today to make sure that both of you are feeling like you're getting what you need from your partner. So you can continue with the intimacy, continue with the connection, and continue to feel like you guys are a team and not always feel like you're begging your partner to go out or begging your partner to stay in. Let's talk about it. The first thing that you can do, the first tip, the first idea is pub trivia. This is ideal for both of you guys because within that setting, you have alone time as well as the socializing time as well. So it's kind of ideal where you're both getting what you want from it at different times, of course. So pub trivia. The second idea that you can do, which is something I plan on doing myself, which is to what you want to do is go out to a romantic dinner, not just any dinner. You want to go out to a romantic dinner that is relatively quiet so you and your boo can have that alone time, right? That quiet alone time. And then after you're done with the romantic part, then you guys go out to a dancing lesson or something where you guys are out just doing things together and having fun, dancing with each other, right? So romantic dinner, then a dance lesson. You're getting both what you want. The quiet time as well as the out socializing, having a fun time with multiple people around you. <laughs> Another reason why you want to do the dinner first and then the dancing is because the introvert is going to get all of his energy sucked out of him or her in my case it's a him so afterwards you guys are going to have to drive home it might be quiet but really just think about your introvert is actually recharging because that was a lot the dinner was fine nice and romantic quiet chill the dancing and all the people everything was sucking him or her energy out of them and so because afterwards, you're more than likely going to either go for like a little a little short walk where you guys can just chill and be alone or maybe the drive home, something where you guys are quiet. It's because your introvert needs that time to start to recharge, to recenter himself or herself. Okay. The third date idea is to go out to a bar where it's not loud and noisy, right, for your extrovert loud and noisy and then for the introvert side of the date you actually you guys can actually go and stargaze or just go and watch airplanes coming and going something where they can recharge recenter it's quiet they like spending time with you y'all doing it together but they don't have to worry about all those other people sucking them dry and the extrovert you already got your charging because you charge when you around people so you already got it on your charge <laughs> I'm laughing at myself with that dance. <laughs> the fourth idea is to go to an amusement park. I really like this one because, yes, amusement parks are usually crowded. However, if you go on the non-peak days, there won't hardly be any crowds. So you'll still be out. You'll still be socializing. But it won't be as noisy. So your introvert won't get sucked dry 
as soon as early and afterwards again you guys can just go and do something where your introvert can recharge himself or herself the next date idea you can either do a single date or a double date where you guys kind of go to a coffee house again where it's just you two of course the coffee house is there but it's really just you two engaging in conversation enjoying one another and then you can go off and listen to some live music yes live music this is actually a great date idea again if you do it with another couple as in a double date because your introvert is already cool with their friends so they don't necessarily need to um, engage in the small talk while the extrovert is able to socialize and get to know more about either if they're their friend or if it's somebody new so it's a win-win the next date idea is to go to a comedy club or an action movie this is a great idea because, again, it's a win-win, which is where all of these are. All of these are win-wins. But specifically to this one, the extrovert wins in the way that they're around a crowd of people, but they're not necessarily interacting with them. However, they still get to feel all of the energy, especially when the movie is good and you get more of the laughter and, you know, maybe somebody might touch you or give you a high five or whatever, whatever it is, right? They're enjoying the energy and being around other people. The extrovert wins in the sense that, they're enjoying time with you, but they don't have to interact with anybody but you. The next date idea is to take a bike ride to and from that actual social event. Again, extrovert, y'all spending time together while y'all on the bike to and from. They're able to recharge, especially from the social event. The extrovert, you're getting to be around all your people, socializing, laughing, and joking. And you guys can actually leave a lot sooner just in case the introvert is tired of being around all of those people, they have been their energy has been sucked out of them so quickly. Y'all both can just leave and ride your bikes back to wherever it is that you got the bikes from, whether it's your home or you guys rented the bikes. And again, you're back with one another. But you're also not only being in the house, you're actually um, exercising your body. So you're building up your stimulation. You're building up your circulation. You're building up your health. The health of not only your body, but the health of your relationship because you guys are together. All right, fam. So I actually get most of these tips from an article. I'll definitely link that article down below because I want to pay homage to the actual author. Again, I was looking for these things for myself and I wanted to share them with you guys. The article is actually called Nine Date Ideas That Will Make Both Introverts and Extroverts Happy by Natalia Lasinski. And um, I will definitely link this article down below, especially if you want to get the breakdown of every single one of them. It was actually nine date ideas, as I mentioned. I think I only mentioned like seven of them here. So obviously I, I didn't mention two. Anywho, go ahead and check out the article if you're inter interested. If this is your first time finding the video in this series, don't forget to watch the playlist. There are three other videos in there. And... If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. So you can create that healthy, happy, romantic relationship with everybody that you're in a relationship with. Not just your romantic relationship, but also your life's relationships. Sibling, mom and dad, you know, all of those people. I'll see you guys in another video. Deuces.